Orlando's down by nine, and if they lose this game, they're eliminated. Oh, no, interception. But look at the wide receiver track him down say, give me that ball. We're not eliminated yet. I got it. I got it. I saved our season. They went on to lose later. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching, and this week's episode is brought to you by Geology. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's go to curling, the 2023 World Championship Curling, Sweden versus Norway. This is to force overtime, extra end. Sweden, that guy looking good, looking like a good Swedish guy. He's got to knock the red out. They need two points, so they need two yellows closer than the one red. They need two points. Sweden has won four times in a row, four times. Oh, my God. Which one's closer? Which one do you guys think is closer, that yellow? Or that red, you can't even do the eye test, so they bring out the micrometer. And this lady spins it around like a scientist, and she says, okay, this one is that, and this red one is that. What's what's all that mean, right? Well, just looking at it, The little dial on the red one reaches about five and a quarter. And on the yellow one, it reaches five and a half. So the yellow is closer. Sweden did it. They're calling it the shot of the century. But, 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 much like the opening highlight, they lose. And Norway beats them. And Sweden is not the five-time world champ. They're the four-time world champs. And now, currently, nothing. Because Norway won. Cool shot, though, by the other guy. All right, let's move on to the National Lacrosse League. A little update for you guys at home. There are three weeks left of the season before the playoffs begin, so I'm going to let you know just who's been good. Toronto, they've been great, 12-4. and four. Buffalo, they've been great, 11-4. and four. Those teams are both in the East. The San Diego Seals in the West – They got the best record in the whole thing, 12-3, and as well as the Calgary Roughnecks. Those four teams, they're in the postseason. We got a lot fighting for a spot, though. Rochester, Nighthawks, come on, come on, come on. And then the big one, the Georgia Swarm. I've told you guys about them and things you missed before. They started the season 0-7. They weren't doing well. They've turned it around. They've won seven of their last eight games. I think I'm rooting for them just because that's a crazy cool turnaround. 0-7, 0-7, they won seven of their last eight. Make playoffs, Georgia. Uh, New York Riptide, I love you, but you're eliminated. Albany, Albany Firewolves, eliminated. Come on, New York teams, let's do it. Jeff Teat has the most goals. Jeff Teat. Next up, you guessed it, New Zealand's Basketball League, where we have the Franklin Bulls taking on the Hawks Bayhawks. The Hawks, Bayhawks. The Hawks, Bayhawks are down by three with 4.3 seconds left. They need to draft up a play. 22 inbounds at the three-pointer with two seconds left. It's good. They force overtime, huh? Well, wait, hold on. Not positive yet because first this guy's going to lefty chuck it down the lane. The guy falls, and then they miss, and then this guy puts the layup up just to feel cool. He knew time was expired. Just to get that good energy going, feeling cool. But the Hawks, Bayhawks, unlike the last two teams I did in this episode, they actually did come back and win. They used the great play to win the game in the end. They Oh, that guy, Sean Wallace's brother, Sean Wallace's New Zealand cousin. Everybody likes that guy. That guy has no enemies in his entire life. He's just the happy, short, Kiwi, male pattern balding gent. You see this guy right here? And you go, everybody likes that guy. He's a nice guy. And that's the New Zealand Basketball League, which just started. Congrats to the Hawks, Bayhawks. Last and also least, we have the 2023 American Cornhole League kickoff battle where Justin Burton Jr., JBJ, defeated Alan Rawls 22-15 to in the semifinals and defeated Devin Harbaugh 22 to 12 in the championship. So this Justin 
Burton Jr. guy. Seems like he can't be stopped. He also teamed up with Logan Chamberlain, and they won the pro doubles. So JBJR, just a killer out there on the cornhole, tossing the bags. Uh, He's a rookie. Wow. And a kid who's either 13 or 14 years old, we can't find a definitive age on him. His name's Jacob Gore. He came in third in the pro singles tournament, won 2000 bucks. Seems like a real tiny prize for third place. But he can use that to go do whatever he does. What do 13-year-olds spend their money on? I don't know. If it was me, I probably would have taken all that money, walked to the Circuit City that was close by, and bought all the DVDs. But I'm old now. There's other things on my mind like fixing my skin, which is wrinkly and bad. If you need to do that, you can go to Geology. You can use code JOHNBOY70. They'll give you 70% off. Geology creates simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you, ingredients that are proven to work. So check out the link in the description. Use code JOHNBOY70 and get Geology's award-winning skincare for 70% off. And most importantly, make sure you vote on Fan of the Week. Who do you got? A. B, C, or D. I don't know if that's the order. We label them in, but be honest with yourselves and with everyone else around you. Who is the fan of the week?